What is going on YouTube, Lamont at Large, and today we are driving into Van Leer, Tennessee. A very, very small town, population around 400 some odd residents. Very, very small town. A very small town that had a very famous part-time resident. This was where Luke Perry uh, would live and get away from the Hollywood life. This is where he bought a ranch out here and this is the place of his uh, final resting site so we're gonna jump out of the van I'm gonna give you a really quick tour of this small place because I'm not gonna lie to you there's really not much to show so I'll find a place to, to the side of the road to pull off and then I can kind of show you what's going on out here okay so this is pretty much the main drag of this town everything is closed right now Van Leer has a population of about I want to say under 500 there's not much happening in this town uh, this restaurant is currently closed they're only open for breakfast and lunch so really quickly because I know there's people out there that don't know who Luke Perry was or is and it's mind-numbing to me to know this but i'll give you a really quick synopsis of his career so luke perry uh, moved out to california from ohio where he was born because he wanted to be an actor like many of us do we want to be famous we want to be loved and adored and make lots of money while doing so uh, so he moved to los angeles and uh, he did get a role on a old soap opera called loving and of course he was getting like little tiny bit parts here and there but he finally made it big he got cast as teen heartthrob bad boy dylan mckay on 90210 one of my favorite tv shows growing up as a kid and uh let me tell you uh he hit the lottery with that tv show now he was on there for about six seasons and after that you know i guess when you're an actor you start feeling that you're getting typecast he left the show to to you know pursue other roles and he did a couple other movies let's not forget he was in eight seconds that was a pretty good movie and of course he was uh buffy the vampire slayer's boyfriend <laughs> who can forget that movie and however the roles quickly dried up because you you know you're a typecast person everyone sees you as dylan mckay from 90210 and then he came back to the tv show uh, 90210 i believe for the last two seasons does anybody remember the steamy uh makeout session between dylan mckay and brenda walsh yeah that was one of the few tv shows as a kid that i had to be at home at nine o'clock fox 11 news los angeles 90210 so this is a place where they sell antiques or whatever so you know it's so funny me reading online uh because his ranch isn't very far from here uh it says that he lived in van leer however if you go on google it says he actually lived in dickinson so let's jump back in the van and we're gonna go head out to dickinson where according to uh the masters at google that is where he really lives so here we are we're in the big city well if you live in van leer anyways this is the big city this is dickinson tennessee population all right around under sixteen thousand or so so this is where luke perry when he was on his ranch he would come out here to buy his necessities go to the store because there really isn't a store back in van leer so i believe that luke perry purchased his ranch right around the time the movie eight seconds came out and he just fell in love with this town you know it's one of those quiet towns nobody's gonna bother you no one's going to harass you and annoy you and at that time he was a very very popular actor in hollywood so you could imagine him wanting to get away from hollywood him wanting to just be left alone he is from Ohio, so maybe he is used to that rustic lifestyle. Now, when he would come to Dickinson or Van Leer, I mean, you got a lot of teenage girls out here that are infatuated with Luke Perry. So there was instances where girls would 
say, hey, can I get your autograph? But for the most part, people left him alone. And from the articles I read online about Luke Perry, the general consensus is that he was just an overall friendly guy. You know, he just wanted some peace and solitude. I mean, at the end of the day, don't we all? And he found it here in this very town. This is Sister's Restaurant here in Dickinson, Tennessee. Now, of course, they're closed. A lot of these restaurants in these small towns, they're only open for breakfast and lunch. This was Luke Perry's favorite place to eat when he was on his ranch was this restaurant and his favorite food here was their cornbread. Now, I was really, really looking forward to eating here, except that they're closed. Uh, they are hiring. Uh, it says on the side that you must have experience. Now, I feel that this is a small enough restaurant where you can hire a kid to work here and you can teach them the trades, the ins and outs of the restaurant business, but I digress. That's none of my concern. I don't own this place. I'm just about giving a kid a chance to show his chops and show what he got. Anyways, this was his favorite restaurant. I wish I could have ate here, but next time I come through, I will make sure that I stop by and try their cornbread and uh, anything else that looks good on the menu. I want to talk really quickly about uh, Luke Perry's death. So, of course, when he died, uh, there was no big brouhaha funeral. I mean, it, it took Hollywood by absolute surprise, being that he was only 52 years old. I mean... It's just a, a shock that, you know, because having a stroke, which is, you know, how he died, it's a very dangerous because you literally have mere minutes to get somebody to the hospital. Uh, and uh, when he died, I mean, it just shocked a lot of his former castmates from 90210. I was reading online, and this is where... You're going to have to figure it out for yourself what really happened. There was a uh, rumor online that he was given an earth burial, which an earth burial is you basically are buried in some kind of a shroud, and then that's it. There's no coffin. There's no materials. It's, there's no embalming. It's just you and the earth. And it said that he had was given some kind of a sh mushroom shroud. And there's other articles that say that he was cremated. I have no idea, but I am going to go show you. We're going to drive back towards Van Leer. We're going to drive about eight and a half, nine miles from here. We're going to go visit the final resting place of teen heartthrob Luke Perry. And here we are on County Highway 351 in Van Leer, Tennessee, or Dickinson, whichever one you choose to believe. And this is Luke Perry's ranch. This is his final resting place. He died on March 4th, 2019 at the age of 52. Very, very young. He died of a stroke. And this ranch sits on about almost 500 acres. And this is where he would live part-time to get away from the pressures of living a Hollywood lifestyle. And whether you choose to believe whether he was given an earth burial, he was buried in a mushroom suit, or his, he was cremated and his ashes were scattered, this is where he would be, right in this area. Very serene, very peaceful here. And uh, he loved Van Leer, he loved Dickinson, and they loved him very, very much so. I loved 90210, and... I grew up with Luke Perry or Dylan McKay. I wanted to be Dylan McKay, the James Dean, bad boy, rebel without a cause, that big hair. I wanted that big hair. I didn't want my hair to be an afro. I wanted it to be that big hair that he had. And all the girls loved him. Anyways, rest in peace to Luke Perry, uh, adored by millions of fans all over the world. He will be forever immortalized in TV and American culture. All right, guys, 
I'm out of here. Lamont at large. I'll catch up with you later on the next vlog. God bless. And peace out.